To change your grid settings, tap on the settings icon or the name of your currently active grid in the precision menu. Choose the grid you want to edit, then tap edit grid or just tap on the active grid one more time. The app will display a variety of presets along with a few settings for customization. The spacing value always aligns with the display unit you have chosen, which can be changed under the workspace settings here. You can choose to type in the value you want to change with a tap, or use the slider to adjust it visually. You'll notice that once I start making adjustments to these settings, any preset changes to custom. If I switch back and forth between the presets, my custom settings will remain. The divisions setting controls the number of additional lines between the chosen spacing value. You can also edit the style of your grid by adjusting the line weight, color, and opacity. By default, the grid lines adapt to your background color automatically, so you'll always have a visually balanced grid. In case you need more color contrast, or want to go for a stylized look, changing the color happens using our standard color wheels and color picker tool. With some of the grids, including the isometric one, you have the option to set the orientation based on how you like to hold your device. And if you're using an artboard, this toggle allows you to confine the grid to its bounds. The settings of perspective guides are slightly different as there are several more presets to choose from and there are no spacing values to adjust. As usual, you have the option to make your own custom perspective grid, and a big part of that is adjusting the vanishing points and the horizon line, which we'll cover in the next chapter.